Alright guys, so we're here with another 2018 rebuild today, and you can see, obviously with the thumbnail on the screen, the title, we are using the Brooklyn Nets. The Knicks did win the straw poll, but I just did a Kyrie Irving Knicks rebuild yesterday, so I didn't want to double up with Knicks rebuilds. So, if you guys are enjoying these 2018 rebuilds, let's see if we can get over 37 likes, and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm actually excited to, this, to do this Nets rebuild. I haven't done one with D'Angelo Russell ever since the trade happened, so I'm very excited to do this. And they've also acquired, like, DeMar Carroll and, like, Mozgov. Well, DeMar Carroll along the way. They also should have a Raptors first round pick. They don't give it to us. So, I might throw on trade override and get that real quick. But, I think I'm not going to make any moves to start off the season. I kind of want to roll with this squad. See how it will do. I want to also start Levert over Kilpatrick. And a Russell, Levert, Howish Jefferson, Booker, Mozgov. I kind of want to run small. Uh, can Howard Jefferson play power forward? Screw it. We're going to do that. And we're going to put in Kilpatrick because we're going to run super small because why the hell not? And Levert's going to be playing some small forward. Lynn's going to be the sixth man. I'm cool with that. Booker, you're going to get 20 minutes a game. Let's give seven more to Kilpatrick. All right. So I'm cool with this team. First scoring option, D'Angelo Russell. Second will be Levert. Third will be Kilpatrick. And we'll just see our preseason power ranking. Obviously, it's the Nets. We don't have our first round pick, sadly. But yeah, they rank us pretty bad, uh, and I know we're not going to make the playoffs. But I'm going to put on trade over, and I'm going to get that Raptors pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So yeah, guys, uh, we're, we were bad. We are actually not even the worst team in the Eastern Conference. I guess it might be like the Heat or the Hornets. I don't know who they're making that bad. Actually, never mind. We have just taken control. Oh, we would have had a top pick. We could have got Michael Porter, Luka Donald, DeAndre Aiden, but instead we're ending up with crap, basically. Oh my god, this sucks. But, you know what? We still have a bright future. I think we have our own pick next year, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm right. So, uh, yeah, we finish up the season 22-60. and 60. Jesus. I'm going to need to flip that record around in two, three years. But, Jeremy Lin gets six men of the year. I guess it's a bright spot. Him backing up D'Angelo Russell. I don't mind him if he wants to stay here on a cheaper deal. But I don't really want to give him more than 10 mil. So, I don't really see any nets. Uh, we might get all rookie. I'd, actually, never mind. I don't even think Jared Allen got minutes. Yeah, we were... Not even, uh, we didn't win any awards, uh, well, on, any on the all-NBA teams. We were bad, the, the Magic were equally as bad, but I don't know, they decided to help out Boston, so they gave us the worst record. Well, there was a tiebreaker. D'Angelo Russell had a breakout season, which is nice, he had 21 points, 6 assists. I don't know how he went down in overall, but what are you going to do? He shot 40% from 3, which is also good. Kilpatrick, 13.8 points, not bad. Okay, the team wasn't uh, terrible, like, stats-wise for our young players. That's kind of like a bright spot we have. But, yeah, there you go, Boston. You got the three seed. They get bounced in the first round, but they also have our pick next year. And we have Toronto's pick, who made the playoffs as, what, the two seed? So, that's like a 20s. Uh, it's going to be in the 20s. James Harden, your finals MVP. They beat the Bucks in five. Yeah, the Raptors were the two seed. So, that pick's going to be like 26, 27 or something. So, let's go to league meetings here. This offseason, um, I'm not sure what we want to do. I'm not really sure. I think we're just going to stay young. Try to, yeah, just don't do anything stupid. Um, yeah, Brooklyn, yeah, we're not getting our pick. We have, all right, where are we drafting? We're drafting a pick. 22 via Washington. Um, I don't think we should have that pick. 25 via Boston. And where's the Raptors pick? I guess we don't, wait, where, can I not find it or am I blind? Wait. Where the hell are the Raptors picking? Um, am I blind? Like, uh, I guess the Raptors are picking 23 via the Clippers. No, wait, the Magic have the pick? I thought I had the pick. Um, okay, so maybe I we get the pick next year. Sure. All right. And, yeah, so I don't think we should have that Wizards pick. I'm pretty sure that was what was acquired this year for Bowen Bogdanovich, but 2K is dumb, or just the Embrace the Pace didn't put it in. So I can get uh, a first-round pick from Philly for Mozgov and Carroll. Yes, please. So we get that trade done, which is also which is amazing because we just cleared salary. Now I'm going to trade this Alfonso McKinney guy and Andrew Nicholson. Just clear house here. If I can get something at uh, two seconds from – actually, a first-round pick from OKC. We might have four first-round picks. Wait, do we have four or three? We have three, 22, 25, and 29. Could I – wait, could I package them and get in the top, like, 10? I think I could actually do that. Let's try to see if I can get, like, 8 or 9. So, 6 from the Pacers. I doubt they accept that. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to give up any other future picks because we, like, have none. Could I get... Did I just see 9? Um, 9 from Portland. Could we do that? I think we can. Really? All right. Who has 10? Who has 10? Who has 10? Who has 10? It is the... Um, the Pistons. Come on. Really? All right. Who has 11? I guess we're not getting in the top 10. I thought we were going to be able to. Denver. No, Denver. All right, Philly. 
Thank you. Okay, so we have the number 12th pick now. I'll see you guys at regular signings with who I drafted. Uh, we're going to fire our head coach. And actually, we'll keep our Jockey Vaughn. He's got good ratings. So we're going to sign Steve Kerr because he's amazing. I say it every video. Yeah, like, you got to get a good coach. So I'll see you guys at regular signings with who I took with the number 12 pick. All right, guys. So here is the end of the draft. There's summary. And with the number 12 pick, uh, we were able to take one of Carter Jr., 75 overall power forward. That could probably start for us. Our second round pick. Nick Richards is a 70 overall, and Bates Diop, I'm not going to sign, but I really like the Wendell Carter Jr. pick. I, we needed a power forward. He could start for us, so let's bring everybody back. Lynn accepts his option. I'm fine with that. Didn't Woody, I'll bring back because he'll just be like a reserve spot. Okay. The, I'm going after one free agent because the, the team might not have enough money to bring him back. I'm not going after Booker. We got to get back. Kilpatrick, Archie Goodwin, I'll throw the minimum. So I'm going to offer the guy a max deal or whatever he wants, and that is Mr. Joel Embiid. If we can pick up Joel Embiid, and have him and D'Angelo Russell, I would be very happy with that. So we're going to give him a four-year deal, player option. I don't know if Philly, sometimes they let him walk. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, where can I see their salary cap? Um, where is Philly? Because they don't have bird rights on him. For some reason, the game didn't put bird rights on Joel Embiid. So they have 11 mil. They don't have enough to match it. They do not have enough. So if we can get, if he accepts it, we're going to get Joel Embiid. Just please tell me nobody else has offered him a deal. Archie Goodwin we get. Okay, I want Joel Embiid. All right, here it is. Moment of truth. What? I thought they don't have bird rights. Well, that's embarrassing. I thought we were definitely getting Embiid. Well, that sucks. Oh, that was embarrassing. How? Wait, they don't have bird rights on them. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Unless they just made a trade or something. <sighs> okay, I was going to try to sound like Trevor Booker and trade him there. Okay, so that's out the window. I would like to get Jabari Parker, but I'm going to go after Avery Bradley. Uh, try to get one big deal done. I know we would have a lot of damage shooting guard, but him and D'Angelo Russell would be nice together, I feel like. Uh, giving him 25 mil is going to hurt, though. Cousins would also be cool. We could get Cousins. Nobody's thrown him an offer, so like it doesn't hurt. He, Him and Russell would be nice. Paul George, he's probably going to go back to the Thunder. Okay, so we get actually Cousins, and we can get Bradley. That's both of them. Uh, do I want Bradley? You know, we're not going to get Bradley that money because we're just going to give it to Cousins. All right. I don't know why Cousins would want to come to Brooklyn, but he did. So, I think that's it for me signing free agents. If we want... Do we have our first round pick next year? Do we? We do. No, we don't. We don't have our first round pick at all. So, you know what? Screw it. Let me go after Melo on a one-year deal. See if we can maybe comp uh, compete for a playoff spot. I'll give you a one-year deal worth 29 mil. And, yeah. Just accept that. And there we go. We should be competing for a playoff spot. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. Guys, unfortunately, we ended up losing Kilpatrick. But this is the team. It's actually not that bad. It's Russell Levert, Mello, Wendell Carter Jr., DeMarcus Cousins, Jeremy Lin, Hollis Jefferson, Dinwiddie, and Jared Allen. The bench is garbage. It, it's pretty bad. Like, Jefferson and Lin are nice for the bench, but Dinwiddie and Allen suck. Uh, but, like... Cousins, Mello, and Russell. That's a nice big three. And then you have Levert and the rookie Wendell Carter Jr. I think we can make the playoffs. First scoring option, we'll make it Cousin, sure. And then we'll make it Russell. And then we'll make it Mello. So, yeah, that's going to be for me now. Do they project us to make the playoffs? They have us at the number two. Oh, my God, NBA.com. Number six and number two by Mark Spears. Okay, we should make the playoffs this year. And we can get some playoff basketball in Brooklyn. All right, guys. So, they projected us to be the second best team in the NBA. And we've actually done very well in April. We were once the seventh seed, but now it looks like we're ending the season as the fourth seed. Hey, I'm not complaining. We don't have our pick, and, like, uh, it doesn't matter. I know we're not going to win at all, but, like, I'll take where we ended up. So, we don't get any awards. It looks like Fred Neal Aquino, most improved. John Smith, the most generic name ever, coach of the year. But let's see if we got any Nets. No Nets only. First team. Oh, there we go. DeMarcus Cousins. 22.6 points a game. 11.8 boards. Career high in assist. 1.6 steals. 1.6 blocks. 48% field goal. 35 from 3. He might make it all defensive team. He might. Um, No, he didn't. Never mind. So, did we get an all-rookie? Where is Bundle Carter? Oh, my God. All-rookie first team. Let's go. 12 points. 9 boards. What a drafty. Oh, my God. Two blocks. 47% from the field. I like it. Okay, so we got the four seed. We're taking on the five seeded 76ers in round one. Marco Fultz, Ben Simmons, Jordan Crawford, Daryl Sarge, Joel Embiid, Robert Covington, Vertron Holmes, Jamil Okafor. And yeah, so that's who we're taking on in round one. And we got. Wait, that's who we're taking on, right? Uh, okay, I just had a brain fart. So, um, DeMarcus Customs, we saw his stats. Melo about 18 points a game, five boards. Russell, 17 points, 5.7 assists. Now, as like. To having two other scorers, he only he drops down four points. Wendell Carter Jr., we saw his really good stats. Win 12 off the bench. 
And yeah, I think we're ready for the playoffs. Hopefully, we can pick up the W. Round one against Philadelphia. We both had the same record. Let's see what happens. And we blow a 3-1 lead. <sighs> okay. Okay. But should I expect anything else in 2K given Brooklyn luck? No. So, it's a Portland Cavs finals. And LeBron James wins his fourth NBA championship. Now, he would be four and five on his career. So, league meetings. I'm actually going to nine finals. That's crazy. That is nuts, just thinking about that. So, we don't have any top picks, but we are picking, or we have, hey, we get a 15th pick from Toronto. I'll take that. That's not bad. So, we have that, and that was in the Damari Carroll trade. So, okay, at least we got something. And it probably has at least a starting half in trade value that I can maybe move. Okay, so, let's see. The 15th pick, and... Could I just trade this for a pick next year? Because I'm trying to trade up next year. If we don't win it all this year, there's a player I really want to draft next year. But I want a future first if I can land that. Is this a future first? 2019, it's top three protected. That's fine. Um, as long as you don't get top three, I'll be happy. So we uh, move that. So next year, we have three first round picks that I can move. And I'll probably have some type of asset. So we're going to advance past here to... Team player options because we're not we don't have any draft picks for rookie signings. We're gonna bring back Levert, Whitehead, Allen, and Richards. Okay, and yeah, free agency class is nice, but I don't know who I'm gonna go after if I'm gonna go after anybody. Russell is restricted. Lynn, oh man, he wants a lot of money. All right, we'll give Lynn 13 mil. I guess I'll offer him mel Yeah, he's probably gone. Howish Everson's restricted. Uh, Dinwiddie, I'll offer him a mil. So let's go here to free agency. Is there anybody not getting any offers? Kyrie Irving would be pretty cool to get and bring him to Brooklyn. Him and D'Angelo Russell would be nice, but let's see what we want to do. Um, Yeah, I guess we could throw him this. I'll throw him that, that offer. And do I want to throw anybody else? I guess we could throw like Clay Thompson a deal because we have the money. Might as well use it, right? So let's give him that. After day one, we get Spencer Dinwiddie. Woo, our big signing. Now, next day, mulling. Everybody's mulling. After day three, we got Clay Thompson. Kyrie accepts another offer. Eh, screw it. We'll take Clay. We'll take Clay. And Kyrie goes back to the Cavs. Do we get Jeremy Lin? That's all I want. Can we actually sign somebody else? Can we sign Jokic? No, Jokic signed somewhere else. Can we sign Jabari Parker? That'd be cool, but I don't think we're going to have the money to. We actually need a small forward pretty desperately. Oh, Mel, you want to come back here another uh, <laughs> for one more year? We might have to do that. Jeremy Lin. Um, do we have bird rights on Jeremy Lin? I think we do. So hold on. I'm not going to sign you yet, Jeremy. Jeremy, wait, Jeremy. We get Mel out. Uh, Parker goes back to the Bucks. Now let's get Jeremy Lynn back. No, wait. We don't have bird rights on Jeremy Lynn. No, we can't sign him. The bench is going to be so bad. Oh, my God. All right. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. Oh, this is going to be rough. All right, guys. The bench is literally garbage. It is so bad, but the starting lineup is nice as hell. And, like... Two nice defensive players in Carter Jr. and Thompson. And then we got scores like Thompson, Russell, Mello. So we should be good with the starting lineup. The bench is pretty bad. They're probably going to project us to get the one seed. Yeah. We're the best team in the NBA according to Spears and NBA.com. But 2K Sports has us a four. I think we could make the playoffs as a top two seed in the Eastern Conference. I hope we can. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. If we don't win, I'll probably trade like Clay Thompson for a bunch of assets in the offseason. And we can go from there. Oh my god. What? We still have to see an 0 5. What the hell? There's now on the Warriors. What is life? Is he, like, if they still have the big four and him, I'm going to get mad. But hey, Demarcus Cousins. Wait, whoa, whoa. Demarcus Cousins, on the first team. Shout out to you. Good stuff. Wait, okay. I want to see what teams Kevin Durant is on. Okay, he didn't make any on NBA teams, but Draymond is still on the Warriors, at least. Any other Nets? No. Okay. So, we didn't make the playoffs? Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god for real we make the freaking playoffs okay I'm, I'm a little shocked right now not gonna lie neither did the warriors okay well they probably don't yeah they don't have kevin durant or nor do they have clay thompson i forgot we have clay thompson we didn't make the freaking playoffs all right all right all right i'm done i'm done clowning around we're gonna win it all next year i'm just trust me i've been waiting i kind of wanted a draft for mellow ball but we damn it okay um I thought we were definitely going to make the playoffs, especially because 2K predicted us being the best team in the NBA, and then we just go on and get the 9 seed, which is kind of unfortunate and kind of scary, but we'll be fine. Let's see if any of these draft picks help us out. 
we are projected our picks. We got 13, which is ours. Of course, the Mavericks made the freaking playoffs. So I don't even think we have theirs, like, in the top, whatever. We have 13, 24, and 29. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get up to number two because Nick Johnson's going to go number one. If you guys don't know him, he's the creator of the 2020 draft class, and he made himself a freaking demigod. So I'm going to try to get the number two pick in the draft without giving up Klay Thompson. And let's see if it's possible. I, it's going to be fine. Like, we should do this no problem. Charlotte, for three, four first round picks. And they don't want to do that. But I will give you five first round picks. And they agree to that. Okay, so we'll have a mellow ball on the team. Is there anybody I want to trade now? No, I don't think so. I might trade Clay just to see what I can get for him. Uh, let's throw him up on the block. Because he's 30. Okay, nobody wants to offer me anything. We do need a small forward because we're going to roll Russell at shooting guard. Lamelo at point guard. And then we need a small forward. So... If I could pick up Paul George and some type of trade for Clay, oh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to freaking happen. Because, yeah, Paul George is apparently four and a half star trade value. And, yeah, they don't want to trade Paul George. Giannis is pretty much impossible to trade for in this game. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be possible to get him. But let's see about Gordon. Do I want Gordon Hayward? Do I want Wiggins? I might do a trade for Draymond Green and move him to small forward. We'll see. But I'll see you guys at Ricky Soundings after I make my draft pick. Here we go. Lamelo Ball, 82 overall. He never puts up points because, I don't know, his tendencies are weird. But we're going to move D'Angelo Russell to shooting guard where he's going to go up in overall to an 86. Okay. So, we have like... Uh, and Russell's a free agent too. Okay. Carter. I want Carter Jr. to come off the bench. We should have enough to go after a max deal, I think. Uh, I guess well for those guys qualifying offers. Russell... Yeah, we can go after almost the max deal. I'm going to be trading, I think, Clay Thompson, though. I just want to see what's in free agency first. Melo, ugh, unless Melo wants to come back on the mid-level exception, I will. But, like, anything else, I don't want him. So, what is Melo? Um, okay, so Gordon Hayward is here. We do need a small forward. So, you know what I might do? Ooh, DeRozan is here, too. Interesting. Does Clay go up if I move him to small forward? Because if he does, then I'm just going to keep him. He goes actually up and overall. You know what? I was thinking about trading Clay and then signing Gordon Hayward, which I still might do. Hold on. Unless I can pick up a good power forward that's not making a lot, like AKA and Jeremiah's a free agent. Okay. Is there a good power forward here that's not making a lot of money that I would save money? How much is. Okay. Porzingis making 23 mil. I would save 4 mil by making this trade. And if I threw in a first round pack. Okay. So we pick up Porzingis. So we have. Okay, so I just need money to get Gordon Hayward, which we don't have enough, right? We need to clear up 3 mil. Uh, is there anybody here making 3 mil? Damn it, we're not getting Gordon Hayward. Okay, maybe that trade was very idiotic of me, now that I think about it. Oh, uh, I don't want to get Melo. I really don't want Melo. So we might... Uh, I can't get DeRozan either. What about... Okay, what about if I lob him a lot less money, but I would move him to small forward. So I will give you that, a player option. Please accept that. It's 91 interest. If that's his only offer, he might accept it. If not... We got to do a sign-on trade with somebody like Melo, sure. Uh, Draymond, we have enough. Okay, I could always move Draymond to small forward too. I didn't think of that. So, let's do this. Player option, no trade clause. And, yeah. Do we get anybody? Nope, everyone's mulling. Okay, we pick up Draymond Green. Cool. And we sign Russell. I'm pretty sure we can do both, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, now, uh, screw whoever I offer to. DeRozan, I don't care. Yeah, the Kings, are, he's probably going to sign with the Kings. Melo and DeRozan both accept other offers. We need Howell, Jefferson, and LeVert. We need them both desperately. Can we, we probably can't sign one of them. Actually, no, we can sign both. Dope. So, is there anybody else? Melo, I think, probably signed somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Gordon Hayward's getting mad money from the Celtics. Is there anybody here that wants a mid-level exception? Because, oh my god, we are very far under the cap. Or over the cap, I should say. Iguodala for the minimum. Gibson for the minimum. Al Jefferson for the minimum. George Hill for, yes. Okay, can we get George Hill for this? I never knew, I don't even know what college that is that he went to. I-U-P-U-I. Never heard of it. Where's number one offer? Let's go. We should be able to pick him up and we'll offer J.R. Smith the minimum. So we get George Hill and Taj Gibson. Very nice. Al Jefferson signs elsewhere. I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what the rotation or lineup's going to look like. Guys, this is definitely the best bench we've ever had in this video. So I'm fine with this rotation. I want to give a little bit more minutes. Okay, right, Draymond, I'm moving the small forward. He's going down because he is 30. But what are you going to do? Russell, okay. I want to give a little bit less minutes to Lamella. We'll give one more to Russell and Porzingis. And I guess we'll feed the bench more minutes. And yeah, so that's going to be for me. This is the best team we've had I in this video. I think we can win a championship. First scoring option is going to be 
uh, we'll make it Cousins, then we'll make it Russell, then we'll make it Porzingis. So that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Let's go win a championship. Here we go, guys. We finally get that one seed, and 2K actually predicts something right. And we go 67 and 15 on the season. Very, very nice. Demarcus Cousins, MVP. That's actually a shocker. But, I, hey, I'm cool with it. Nick Johnson, rookie of the year. Six man goes to Kemba and Nick Johnson, defensive player of the year. I told you guys it's a demigod. Yeah. Um, and do we, we don't even get coach of the year, really. John Smith wins it again for the Rockets. So, obviously, Cousins going to get NBA first team. Fultz is also on it. We're kind of far into this. NBA second team, no Nets. No Nets. Couple Mavericks. Um, Smith and Kevin Durant. Okay. Um, I think that's it for Nets. Vamelo Ball did not even make an all-rookie team. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, his tendencies are bad. His tendencies are bad. But we're taking on the Raptors, it looks like, in round one, who have an interesting team. Yeah, we're going to... We should wax them. We should sweep them. No problem. Russell was our winning scorer. Cousins did well. Porzingis did amazing. Carter did great off the bench. Hill did all right. Lamelo, <laughs> awful. Jesus Christ. And Draymond even do that well. So we should win round one with no problem. That how what what? Okay, I'm gonna just take a step back and just think about life and think about when your life flashes before your eyes. We were down 3-0. What? Oh my God. And then we just come back and beat them. Well, that's scary and alarming that we're probably not going to beat the freaking Cavs. Uh, oh, my God. We won it. Seven again. Jesus Christ. My heart keeps stopping every time the opponent has three wins. Holy crap. Can we just sweep the Celtics and just have an easy series, please? Come on. Get revenge. They re killed you in that trade. Beat them. Yes, finally. Win in six. We're in the finals. Jesus. Could this kill my heart anymore? Oh my god, okay, so we're taking on the Rockets. We're probably not gonna win. Um, oh my god, game seven. Pause the perfect time. Let's go, game seven. If we have to hop in, we'll do it. Come on, be close. Don't get blown out. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, is it really about to come down to the wire? No, we're gonna win. We win it. Let's go. They're not coming back. And the Brooklyn Nets are your 2020 or this would be 21 NBA champions. Demarcus Cousins, definitely could be your finals MVP. There he is. Let's go. Okay. Shout out to this team. I don't know how we didn't lose in round one or two. And I'm just happy we won it all. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this 2018 Nets rebuild. And don't forget to vote in the straw poll on which team we should do next. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought as well. That's going to be it for me. Thank you all for the support lately. I love you guys with the bottom of my heart. New um, big announcement coming soon. And I'll see you guys next video. Be on the lookout. Peace.